All right, the first thing we do is, what's going on is, is that we got these taps and we wanna make sure these taps are actually connected to these service wires right here. So um, we just gotta make sure that our wires from here and the wires from here is actually terminated properly inside of this little slot. So this is kind of like a shark bite where it chews down into the wire. And then once it chews into the wire, we have like two like like teeth over here to give us a connection to this and this comes all the way down to the disconnect so the first thing we want to check is um well the basic premise of why we do this is because with it's it's called a supply side tap or a line side tap and what we do is is with this is um uh it you can use how much ever solar uh, kilowatts you want to use if you use a line side tap if you use a breaker then you can only use so much of solar so when you got this uh, line side tap you could put you could put a uh, uh, 30 kW on here it doesn't matter so that's why we do this uh, and this is all NAPSEB um, um, uh, accredited and this is also we also went to the board of um, directors uh, with the city and everything works well so the first thing we want to do is check these two and then we're getting 240 so that's good and then we want to check this one from ground to uh to power to phase phase to ground 123 and then we check from phase two to ground and then we get 123 which is perfect so the next thing is is from these taps we got these wires that's coming down they're coming all the way down here so we need to see where this conduit is coming down and it's going over here pull this neutral out and then actually it's going to the top so let's see if we get anything on the top Okay, so actually what we're getting is, is 30 volts. So something's going on with one of these wires. So let's do this. Let's take one of these and then check it to this. Okay, so that's four. And then take this one and check it from here. So that's 123. So the black wire is actually something's wrong with it. Yep. So let's try it again. Check this one to ground, four, eight, six. And then we check this one to ground. And that's 123. So the red one is good. But this black one needs to be, uh, it's probably actually not connected inside of here. So all we do is, is, okay. so what we do is, give me one second. I just want to make sure we see this right. <laughs> So we good. So we just gotta make sure our screwdriver is all, I mean, our uh, ratchet set is all the way, you know, taped up. So even though this is not hot, you know, we just treat everything like it's hot. So we wanna take the black one off. Just be careful where your hands are because those two, that bus is very, very hot. And actually this is not tight at all. So let me tighten this up. So I just kind of felt it and it wasn't tight at all. So let me just make sure both of them are tight. See, it's kind of loose. You see how much play I got in it? So now let me check it now. So now we check uh, both of these together and we got 240. So that tells us that, let me check it from ground to here, 123. And this one, 123, perfect. So it was actually loose. So we just had to make sure that it was, um, that it was, uh, uh, tighten properly so but just to give you guys an overview just to show you one more time we tighten this one up don't take this one loose but I want to take this one loose and just to give you guys an understanding of how this looks so we take this off and this actually doesn't have any power to it you see how it how it's got teeth and it's got like two teeth on it like a little old lady with three teeth you know <laughs> so what we do is is we just take this we want to put this and I usually put tape around this end because sometimes you might put this in here and then it might come out the other side. But what they did is, is they kind of turned it this way to where they kept this little clamp on this little piece right here on. So then you can shove the wire through here. Oh, something went in my eye. So uh, you put the wire on here first and then you want to turn this and you just want to get in here. Let me take this off first. And you wanna make sure you got this nice and loose. So you just wanna put this right here and just be very careful where your fingers are. And then stick this back in this hole. And then you could twist this like this because it's not hot. This, uh, this, this, all of this is actually insulated. So 
you still want to treat it hot so just make sure you're holding this wire nice and tight that you know and watch where this end is up here so just kind of get it all the way down more and more and more and be careful where your hands are oh it's this be extremely careful now you want to straighten this part out and just make sure this is correctly aligned you don't want that to be hanging off the edge and just kind of hold it because you don't want to shake this bus so you just want to make sure you're holding it tight just give it one more all right and then now let me check it on here so we'll go from ground to the black and we got 220 123 and then 123 on this side and then we check it together 240 perfect that's it so the next step is to close this and then we want to make sure that the fuses are right correct so we want to pull this up just kind of turn your head away from it and then turn this on and then you want to check these two yep fuses work you got 240 make sure 123 123 and that's it so yep.